and give it up for your next poet. I'm going to use what Zach said. Tell it Toby, Mac. I love it. <laughs> So I've titled this one, Modern Art. You never realize you're out of time until you're forced to paint a portrait in three days. Your hand is shaking, hopped up on a bang, second monster in three hours, but you have to stay awake. Painting a picture-perfect portrait takes three days. Takes time, time your jittering hands are wasting. The second slip through, sli through shaking, slim fingertips, untrapped by loose palms losing sleep. You are losing time, but painting a picture-perfect portrait Purely takes patience. Paintbrushes pasted in pink, orange, skin, flesh, hair, t-shirts, lips, smile, teeth chatter and paint splatter, splashed on arms, t-shirts, skin, hair. You won't notice for three days. But painting a pretty picture-perfect pure pink, orange, red, yellow portrait takes forgetting to. Grendel, Beowulf, chapter four's notes are noted due now. To poetry slam pushed to the side now. Creative writing creating another crushed assignment pushed under Underprepped, pretty pr picture, perfect. Pure pink, red, orange, red, orange, red, yellow. Partially finished portrait takes procrastination. Implosion. There's a new portrait to start tomorrow. You still haven't cleaned the layer of orange, red, yellow off your hands yet. You finish filtering through the portrait, pop the calf off your marker, sign your work, date it, push painted portraits to the polished teachers, prepare piss poor grades, Push another class to the side. Reclassify yourself as the machine you are. Pretty perfected push pins artists prepping themselves to push out pounds of paint and pain and paint another pretty perfect fucking fantastic finished portrait. Paint your own funeral portrait another time. Realize you're out of time. Prepare to paint another per picture perfect painted portrait today. <laughs> 